Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You are very welcome here indeed. Now, we all know that aging is not just about time. More importantly, it's about what's happening inside your body and inside your cells. Now, a new study has proposed there's a compound hiding in dark chocolate that's linked to slower biological aging. Not a supplement, not a drug, but theobromine, a naturally occurring compound that's found in cacao. But before you head out to the shops to buy boxes and boxes of chocolates, which is what I would do, there is a catch and it's an important one. In this video, we're going to break down what the science actually shows and how the researchers measure the aging in or at the DNA level. We will also explore why these findings are exciting without being an excuse to overindulge. If you care about longevity, epigenetics and how food shapes your aging, this video is definitely a must watch. Now, although I seem to have sprinkled an element of skepticism here, this is good news for, like me, all lovers of dark chocolate. As I said, the compound that is key to slowing aging is theobromine. This compound is an alkaloid produced in significant quantities by the beans of the cacao tree. An alkaloid is a naturally occurring chemical compound. It contains nitrogen and has pronounced biological activity in both humans and animals. Alkaloids are produced by plants as part of their defense system and can influence our nervous system, our metabolism, and also our gene regulation. Well-known examples include caffeine, nicotine, morphine, and the one we're interested in today, theobromine. These compounds often have a bitter taste and can act as a stimulant, a sedative, or even a pain reliever, depending on their particular structure. Alkaloids interact with our cellular receptors, and also they interact with our enzymes. This is why they are widely studied in medicine, nutrition, and also pharmacology. Back to the study, a team of researchers from King's College London found that people with more theobromine in their blood tended to also have signs of slower biological aging. And this was measured by two separate key biomarkers. However, the study's authors, authors stopped short of permitting us to eat as much dark chocolate as possible in an effort for us to extend our lives. Chocolate treats come with downsides, particularly when they are sweetened. Added sugar and the inflammation that it causes impairs our microbiome's ability to digest food and also to regulate our metabolism. Instead of producing healthy byproducts in the way that it should, things such as butyrate from fiber and urolithin A from polyphenols, sugary ultra-processed treats lack the essential nutrients and then they trick our system into storing more fat, which is not what we need. This in turn then provides less energy for our muscles and also for our brains. Theobromine works best, they say, as part of a balanced diet. Professor Jordana Bell, a professor at King's College London said, our study finds links between a key component of dark chocolate and staying younger for longer. While we're not saying that people should eat more dark chocolate, this research can help us understand how everyday foods may hold a clue to healthier, longer lives. But how were the theobromine levels linked to biomarkers of slower aging? The researchers analyzed the blood samples of 1,669 people collected through two different registries and were analyzed for concentrations of their breakdown products, specifically for compounds such as caffeine and theobromine. The team also measured two different aging indicators based on DNA methylation. These are chemical tags that change as we get older, one being general tagging patterns, the other serving as an indicator of the length of our chromosomal ends, and these are known as telomeres. According to these samples, the link between theobromine and a younger aging profile was significant. That said, a lower biological age doesn't mean you can start having a birthday every two years, but it does point to a better health span. Now, health span is not the same as lifespan. Health span refers to the length of time that a person lives in good health. That's free from serious chronic diseases, disability, and also cognitive decline. Unlike lifespan, which measures how long someone actually lives, health span focuses on the quality of the years that they live. Now, a longer health span means maintaining physical strength, mental clarity, metabolic health, and also independence as we get older. 
The goal of health span research, as this is, is not simply to extend life, but to delay the onset of age-related chronic diseases. Here we're talking about heart disease, diabetes, cancer, neurodegeneration, and also conditions like sarcopenia. Improving health span emphasizes prevention through lifestyle, nutrition, physical activity, and emerging longevity science. Talking about science, back to the study, the team was careful to check for other chemicals that are found in cacao and also in coffee, but, but theobromine was the only one for which an association with biological aging kept showing up time after time. And it's not the first time that this compound has been linked to certain health benefits, but unfortunately, to date, detailed data on its effects on people is sorely lacking. Dr. Rami Saad from King's College London said, this is a very exciting finding. And the next important questions are, what's behind the association and how can we explore the interactions between dietary metabolites and our epigenome further? Now, although the researchers didn't or couldn't directly address why theobromine slows aging, we do know that alkaloids like theobromine can interact with the body's controls for managing our gene activity and that they can in turn influence a whole host of biological processes that are in the body. So that's the health span benefit of dark chocolate. I should now cover seven more of the health benefits that you can get from consuming dark chocolate on a regular basis. So dark chocolate with a high cacao content is very nutritious indeed. A 100 gram bar of dark chocolate with a 70 to 80% cacao content will give you 11 grams of fiber, 67 grams of your required daily intake for iron, 58% for magnesium, 89% for copper, and a whopping 98% of your recommended daily intake for manganese. It also has plenty of potassium, phosphorus, zinc and selenium. Of course, 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of chocolate is a fairly large amount and all these nutrients come at a cost, 600 calories per 100 grams. For this reason, dark chocolate is best consumed in moderation. Now the fatty acid profile of cacao and dark chocolate is also excellent. The fats are mostly saturated and monounsaturated, with small amounts of polyunsaturated fat. It also contains stimulants such as caffeine, but it is unlikely to keep you awake at night as the amount of caffeine is very small compared to that of coffee. So dark chocolate is a powerful source of antioxidants. ORAC, which stands for Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity, is a measure of the antioxidant activity in food. This is where researchers set a group of free radicals, which are bad, against a sample of food and see how well the antioxidants in that food can disarm the free radicals. Unfortunately, the biorelevance of ORAC is often questioned because it's measured in a test tube and it may not have the same effect in the body. However, it is worth mentioning that raw, unprocessed cacao beans are amongst the highest scoring foods that have ever been tested. Now, dark chocolate is loaded with organic compounds that are biologically active and function as antioxidants. These include polyphenols, amongst others. One study showed that cacao and dark chocolate had more antioxidant activity than any other fruit that was tested, which included blueberries and acacia berries. So dark chocolate may improve our blood flow and lower our blood pressure. The flavanols in dark chocolate can stimulate the endothelium, and that's the lining of the arteries, and that then produces nitric oxide. One of the functions of nitric oxide is to send signals to our arteries and tell them to relax. This lowers the resistance to blood flow and therefore reduces our blood pressure. Many control studies show that cacao and dark chocolate can improve blood flow and lower our blood pressure, although the effects are usually quite mild.
Moving on to HDL and LDL. Consuming dark chocolate can improve several important risk factors for heart disease. In a controlled study, cacao powder was found to significantly decrease oxidized LDL cholesterol in men. It also increased HDL and lowered total LDL for those with high cholesterol. Oxidized LDL means that the LDL has reacted with free radicals. This makes the LDL particle itself reactive and capable of damaging other tissues, such as the lining of the arteries in our heart. It makes sense the cacao lowers oxidized LDL as it contains an abundance of powerful antioxidants that do make it into the bloodstream and protect lipoproteins against oxidative damage. Dark chocolate can also reduce insulin resistance, which is another common risk factor for many diseases like heart disease and diabetes. So staying with heart disease, let's move on to some medical studies. In a study of 470 elderly men, cacao was found to reduce the risk of death from heart disease by 50%. This was over a 15 year period. Another study revealed that eating chocolate two or more times per week lowered the risk of having calcified plaque in the arteries by 32%. Another study showed that eating dark chocolate more than five times per week lowered the risk of heart disease by 57%. Let's now talk about sun damage. So dark chocolate may protect your skin from the sun. The bioactive compounds in dark chocolate may also be great for your skin. The flavanols can protect against sun damage, improve blood flow, and increase your skin's density and hydration. The minimal eerie thermal dose, or MED, is a minimum amount of UVB rays required to cause redness in the skin after 24 hours. In one study of 30 people, the MED more than doubled after consuming dark chocolate for 12 weeks. So maybe consider loading up on dark chocolate before your next beach vacation. More good news, dark chocolate may also improve the function of your brain. One study of healthy volunteers showed that consuming cacao for five days improved blood flow to their brain. Cacao may also significantly improve cognitive function in elderly people with mental impairment. It may also improve verbal fluency and several risk factors for disease. Additionally, Cacao contains stimulants such as caffeine, which may be the key reason why it can improve brain function in the short term. There is plenty of evidence that cacao can provide powerful health benefits, especially against things such as heart disease. However, not all is good. Dark chocolate is good for you. However, it doesn't mean you should go out and consume lots of dark chocolate every day. Remember, it is still loaded with calories. Personally, I eat dark chocolate maybe three or four times a week, and I usually have this with my evening coffee. My evening coffee is always decaf. Also be aware that a lot of chocolate on the market is not good quality. So you're looking for dark chocolate with a cacao content of 70% or higher. Now, dark chocolate does contain some sugar, but the amounts are usually small. And the darker the chocolate, the less sugar it should contain. Now, for me here in the Philippines, getting a high quality dark chocolate bar can be somewhat of a challenge. Now, they do appear occasionally in the supermarket. That's a 45 to 50 minute drive away. And when they do, I tend to buy between 10 and 15 bars. That's all I got from the last um, pile that I bought. That normally lasts me, so 10 or 15 bars will normally last me around a month. Now, I'd be interested to see how many of you eat dark chocolate as part of your healthy lifestyle. 